Now at noon, a change of heart at the Bucks County Courthouse. Prosecutors unexpectedly pulled the death penalty off the table for convicted killer Sean Kratz. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Janelle Burrell. This is a big development in the fate of Sean Kratz, the man convicted in the grisly slaying of three men. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo is live in Doylestown, where the jury deliberating Kratz's fate has been dismissed. So, Matt, what does this mean? Well, moments ago, we just learned that the judge sentenced Sean Kratz to life in prison without the possibility of parole. That happened less than five minutes ago here at the Bucks County Courthouse. The judge told Kratz at no time did you accept any responsibility for your actions. I'll take a look at some video we have from earlier this morning. Family of the loved ones of the victims walked into courtroom 410 this morning. They at the Bucks County Courthouse uh, to learn Sean Kratz's fate. The 22-year-old was found guilty Friday of first-degree murder and the death of Dean Finacaro after 18 hours of jury deliberations over three days. The first-degree murder conviction triggers an automatic life sentence. Kratz was also convicted of manslaughter in the deaths of Tom Mayo and Mark Sturgis, as well as robbery and other offenses. Prosecutors say Kratz and his cousin Cosmo DiNardo shot and killed the three men on a farm in Solberry Township near New Hope in 2017. They then burned their bodies in a pig roaster and buried them in a 12-foot grave. Today, the families of the victims told the court how their lives have changed since the killings. Melissa Mayo is Tom Mayo's mother. She said, quote, everything you Kratz took is exactly what you no longer have the right to receive. You called your cousin a monster. Yes, he's a sick monster, but you are an evil monster. Again, the judge here at the Bucks County Courthouse just moments ago sentenced Sean Kratz to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Reporting live in Doylestown, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.